What's happening guys? We're in Manchester, town centre. Got exploring with Danny there and exploring with Alyssa. Links in the description as usual. So it looks like we're hitting the underground today guys. To the famous Manchester markets. So see how we got on. <laughs> So guys, these Manchester markets. Um, this is my first visit, so I don't know what to expect. But apparently, um, no one's been in there since about the 70s or the 80s, probably maybe the 90s. Uh, the rumours that there was um, there was built over, but uh, we think we know there's a way in. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be sick. Yeah. So guys, make sure you like the video, share the video, drop us a comment, let us know what you think. And um, again, this is the first visit to the Manchester market, so hopefully it works out for your treat. <laughs> it's something I wanted to go in for time as well. So this is Manchester now, guys. And um, this is what it would look like. 40, 30 years ago. This is insane, guys. We're about to hit all the Manchester underground markets. This is crazy. Next one with Danny there, guys. This is There's absolutely loads of people about as well. Check this. <coughs> so what the plan is, guys, yeah? Get the high vis out. Get the grid keys out. In the middle of Manchester town centre, we're going to lift up the drain and we're going to jump straight down to what we believe was the Manchester markets. I'm guessing the only way we're going to find out if it is the markets is if there's things there like, I don't know, maybe bulk bulbing, something like that. Maybe a, a lights in the ceiling or something like that. Something that will give us a know how that this was the underground markets. Obviously, you can see in the pictures that I've just posted. <coughs> early in the video where you can see the escalator leading down so guys check back in a sec when we get in okay guys so wish us luck gonna be going in Take this eye vis off and we'll put it there, yeah. There's a safety thing, just keep that on there, yeah. <clears throat> Do you know what I mean? Just so people knock over that, make sure you stand over the hole so it falls down. Yeah, bro. Don't come the camera. Go on, Bill. Oh, yeah. Tight as fuck. That's just my camera there. Yeah. Check this. 
So guys, these were the original steps what people have took leading. That is insane. Look at that, where the banister would have been. Wow. Look at that, that's where the banister was, guys. See if there's any toys or anything knocking about. These are the original steps. This is unreal. Guys, the Manchester markets from the 70s and the 80s. So this was obviously the go-to place back in the 70s and 80s. This is where you would get your jeans, your perfumes, your vinyl records. Guys, this is, this is amazing. Because obviously, I'm from Bury, close to Manchester. And this is something I've always wanted to see, guys. Look at that factory prices. Look at that. I mean, it's a here, guys, in the Manchester. It's just the lights. Look at that, where all the little lighting was and stuff. So as you can see there, guys, there's the old bricked up, old bricked up passageway. If you get through there, guys, God knows where you go. God knows where you're gonna go. Oh, is it? So this must have been like the shop here. Yeah, yeah. Look at it. This is insane. Look at the old fire sprinkler up there. Wow. That would have been the electrics there. Let's see. Again, another bricked up entrance there. So all these entrances, guys. I mean, who knows what Guys, if you remember what this one said, this sign up here swayed. I can't seem to make it out, but I swear to you guys, if you can remember what shop that was, you can actually see the shutters, look at that. Guys, that is, that is mint. It's going with Dan. Hey, hey. As you can see, we've got Urban Sherman with guys. How's it going, guys? Guys, I've wanted to come down here for ages. This is, this is mint. The 70s and 80s, this was the go-to place, guys. If you wanted your vinyl records, your jeans, your cheap perfumes, anyone who was about in Manchester in the 70s and 80s, they would have been down here, guys. Don't forget to check him out, guys, and subscribe. Insane. But, yeah, this place is amazing, guys. I mean, to be stood here, man. So it's behind here, then. 40 years on, coming the place was shut. It was absolutely incredible, guys. Well, it seems I mean, to be concrete shut with, with some sort of plastic around it. I mean, oh. God knows how many people know this. This is just, I mean, it's not massive, I'll be honest with you, because obviously it's bricked up there, it's bricked up there, and it's bricked up there, but if you look at that for a shot, wow. With the old steps in. That is insane, that is amazing. It's actually brilliant. Guys, I'm gonna show you some clips of what this place used to look like when it was in top notch back in the 70s and 80s. And um, let me know what you think, guys. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Look at the steps there, though. Like, obviously, people walk straight up there. Yeah. Onto that's the. Like the centre feet for me, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Down here. Straight onto street level there. That's mint, that. I just can't believe it's still up with shutters, then. I know, yeah, yeah, around the side. Got all the electrics up there, guys. This is amazing, this. Someone's with me down here, but Lee's gay. <laughs> How do they know it? <laughs> guys, this is... This is something else, guys. This is something else. <laughs> Smashed it. Don't forget to hit them likes, guys, and subscribe to my YouTube So, guys, channel. there we are. Oh, no, sorry, underneath us video. there. Don't forget to hit the bell. All you see underneath, guys, is the Manchester markets from the 1970s and 80s. Everyone's walking oblivious to what's underneath them. History at its finest, guys. Don't forget, don't forget to hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and I love every single one of you. And I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, guys.